breaking news about Till John McCain, his daughter just admitted it. Meghan McCain told the audience of ABC's The View last week that her father, Senator John McCain, who is suffering from an extremely deadly form of brain cancer is doing good. Although he does have to continue his physical therapy in Arizona. 81-year-old Senator McCain who is a six-term Republican is battling the highly aggressive form of deadly brain cancer called glioblastoma. He was hospitalized sometime late last year in Bethesda, Maryland, in a facility located near Washington, D.C., for a viral infection which was probably caused by the side effects of the aggressive form of chemotherapy and radiation needed to treat this awful disease. Via the Cancer Centers of America Glioblastoma Multiform Glioblastoma, also known as glioblastoma multiform, GBM or grade 4 astrocytoma, is a fast-growing, aggressive type of central nervous system tumor that forms on the supportive tissue of the brain. Glioblastoma is the most common grade 4 brain cancer. Glioblastomas may appear in any lobe of the brain, but it develops more commonly in the frontal and temporal lobes. Glioblastoma usually affects adults. Glioblastoma Cancer Symptoms Symptoms of glioblastoma vary depending on the location of the tumor, but they may include Persistent headaches Double or blurred vision Nausea Vomiting Loss of appetite Changes in mood or personality Changes in ability to think and learn Memory loss New onset of seizures Muscle weakness Speech difficulty Note, these symptoms may be attributed to a number of conditions other than cancer. It is important to consult with a medical professional for an accurate diagnosis. Advanced treatments for glioblastoma Common glioblastoma treatments include Surgery, surgical resection, which requires a craniotomy is typically the first stage of treatment for patients with glioblastomas. Surgery may also allow for the removal of tumor tissue to relieve pressure in the brain caused by the tumor. We offer the six-pillar approach, a minimally invasive surgery for patients with hard-to-reach tumors. Radiation therapy, radiation may be recommended after surgery for some glioblastomas. It may also be necessary to treat glioblastomas when surgery is deemed unsafe or is not recommended for another reason. Radiation therapy may be used alone, with chemotherapy or with targeted therapies. We offer several methods for delivering external beam radiation therapy to treat glioblastomas. Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy IMRT. IMRT is a state-of-the-art radiation delivery system that is used to treat hard-to-reach tumors. It can also spare healthy tissue from radiation therapy. In IMRT, the radiation beams are broken up into smaller beams and the intensity of each of these smaller beams can be changed. This means that the more intense beams, or the beams giving more radiation, can be directed only at the tumor. It is most useful to treat a tumor that is near critical parts of the brain, such as the brain stem and areas that control sight. Stereotactic Radiation Therapy this treatment focuses radiation from various angles to the outline of the tumor. This technique is designed to reduce damage to healthy tissue. Because the procedure does not require an incision, it typically leads to less discomfort, shorter recovery times and fewer complications than surgery. Chemotherapy Several chemotherapy drugs taken orally or intravenously are available to manage the symptoms of glioblastoma. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy are typically the recommended course of treatment for nearly all glioblastomas. Following surgery, carmustine wafers may also be implanted. After a surgeon operates to remove the cancerous tissue in the brain, up to eight dime-sized wafers are implanted in the space where the tumor was. Over the next few weeks, the wafers slowly dissolve while filling surrounding cells with medication. The goal is to kill tumor cells left behind after surgery. Chemotherapy along with Optune has been approved for adjuvant therapy once radiation is complete. Targeted therapy are medicines that target the parts of cancer cells that make them unlike normal cells. These new drugs are used more often to treat brain tumors than standard chemotherapy. Targeted therapy can help when other treatments are not working as well. They can also have less severe side effects than standard chemotherapy medicine. 
McCain's office has not released any official statement on McCain's health for more than two weeks. In fact, the last statement issued said McCain was looking forward to returning to the Senate in January. But it's starting to appear unlikely he will make it back to Capitol Hill before the Senate reconvenes later this week. Glioblastoma only has a survival rate of 5% when found in patients after the age of 75. The senator was 81 when he was diagnosed. I know many people, myself included, have serious issues with Senator McCain. And rightly so. He goes and gets treated in the best hospitals in the country while at the same time believes people like you and me, and our much deserving veterans should have to deal with Obamacare and the Virginia even though he ran on repealing Obamacare he turned around and voted to keep it when the time came. Let's all pray for him. Even though as a senator he has been a traitor to us Republicans and has voted on the wrong side of the political aisle for decades, he is still a human being and was once a war hero. Please share if you will pray for Senator John McCain. Gain.